just give sober a try. <laughs> 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 what is this sobriety you speak of, Jared? Yeah. I've never heard of it. I don't is know, it, is man, this a drug or something? I just, I just hear it's just the default thing people are doing these days. Oh, I, yeah? I don't know. I've never heard of I just someone told have you ever tried the sober shit? This video is sponsored by Jason Stevenson. If you guys are looking for some awesome guided meditations and want a free ebook, then go check out his website, jasonstevenson.net. This will not only help you deepen your meditation practice, but ultimately it will prepare you for future psychedelic experiences, which is always handy. And I also want to give a quick shout out to all our amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are legends. Like I have experienced that before, of like where I'm just like if I don't have weed, I just kind of just go fuck. Well, I, I can't enjoy stuff that I'm doing. I can't have a normal night like working or drawing and stuff without having it there as comfort or whatever. But and then I like realised that went oh yeah shit, that's starting to become a bit of a obsessive problem. And I've been like smoking, but I, I'm not like that now. Cause yeah. I smoke the wani now. You don't need to smoke as much to get the same high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So as I like cut and back, you get more out of out of little. And like, um, yeah, I've been smoking since I first smoked in 2010, and then I started properly smoking probably 2013 to 2014. I was just like constantly smoking. Yeah. So I've been probably stoned for like five years straight <laughs> which is probably yeah. I'm starting to think now like yeah, I feel it, man. yeah I like maybe I should have a break so I'm gonna um I'm all, I'm almost done the the last bloody quarter that I have yeah and when I'm done that I'm just I'm gonna stop smoking for as for as long as I can like I'll yeah. still have a toke every now and again with mates and stuff yeah. how you going but like for the most part I'll just try not to smoke at all yeah and just see what like not being high as like for my brain because it's a different thing like when you have to, when you approach like when you're so used to smoking weed yeah i can relate i've been smoking fucking yeah forever yeah um and then you have to like start navigating this reality on in this sober mind state yeah you gotta like oh whoa yeah, yeah i'm not used to this because then the stoneness becomes your reality yeah and you're used to you know being high and shit i find it like not being high i like i know it's, there's nothing real, because I have taken like a week or two off or anything like that, but I want to take like months off and yeah. see what that's like. Because whenever I've like um, stopped smoking, I noticed not, nothing really different, but like I would talk faster. Mm. I would like be more like jittery, I want to do more things, like I wouldn't be able to sit still. I'd be like, fuck, I need to go fucking play the drums. I need to go fucking do something. I need to, like a, like yeah. a out of control ADD kid. I noticed that too as well, like when I did that month off, yeah, you've got that feeling like, fuck, I need to do something, yeah. but then you usually just smoke weed and you're like, okay, now nah, I'm good now. Yeah, but yeah, when you I'm... don't have the weed, it's like, you, you have to like force yourself to get out of your comfort zone yeah. and do something, right? And that's... Play music, go out for an adventure, or just do yeah. something, yeah. That's, that's like, that's what I've recognised, it's like, it's, it's kind of negative in a way, for, for myself, like, yeah. like I, I never got, like, you get really... What's the word? Um, Comfortable? No, no, like uh, unmotivated to do shit. Mm. But like I never, like personally I haven't really 
had that fully yet because like if if I'm sober or like something like that like not high off like pot I would I'll be like when I'm working on the show I'd like what would sit me down is if if, if I had the the comfort of having like a joint on my lunch break or something like that mm -hmm. and then I can like get focused more on one thing yeah. instead of like 10 other things yeah because I'll usually be in my room and I've got like heaps of other shit. I've got like guitars and stuff and music, like instruments. I've got like my PS4, I've got like a movie <laughs> playing or like something over here, a, a drawing that I'm drawing in real life or just yeah. so, like, like a fucking octopus, like always just constantly <laughs> wanting to just play with shit and just like not focus on one thing. But when mm. I'm like, when I get in that zone, when I like, when I smoke, I like focus on just the one area, which yeah. is the show, because yeah. like, yeah, I don't procrastinate on that because I generally really want to get it done. Yeah, and I guess that's the like, difference between like with how weed affects people differently. It's like it yeah. depends on what because Use I don't know. It. Let's say if you're I don't know. I'm just using this as an example. Like working as an accountant, I'm sure smoking weed might nah. not make any numbers <laughs> yeah. really fun. Yeah. Whereas. Yeah, because I'm saying like, like, yeah, whereas like if you're creating a cartoon show which you genuinely enjoy doing anyway, yeah, then the weed might not necessarily yeah. demotivate you or anything. Or like being like a like a race car driver or some <laughs> shit. Or yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like you probably still could, it, like it could not affect like you that badly where you can still yeah. do everything there is to it's do. It's all about self-control like, yeah. at the end of the day. Some yeah. people just can't handle it. And how much you can handle, like some people who, like, who don't smoke at all would smoke like, a little bit and j it'll be like the equivalent of a smoker smoking like 10 blunts at once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like this guy. me. Yeah. <laughs> just one puff of a joint, you're in DMT. Another right? dimension. Yeah. <laughs> But that's what I want to get to. I want to be able to like just not smoke weed, have a one and be like, fuck, I'm done for the month. <laughs> Instead of just like, you know? But uh, yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm looking, a lot of the times when I try to take a break or tell myself I'm going to take a break, I'm usually kind of like in my head, oh, I don't really want to take a break though. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't want to, then don't. Because that's yeah. the number one important thing. Like, if you if you want to quit weed, you actually have to want to. Yeah. Otherwise, don't do it. Like, but you don't have to quit weed just because everyone else. Yeah, that's it's it. It's the thing that you're supposed to do. But so you've got to be but saying in my head. Yeah. But, you're, but you've got to be honest with yourself. As that's well. it. Yeah. And now this time around, I'm like excited to not smoke yeah. weed. I'm well, like, it's an adventure, what am I going to be like? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to see how long I can go for. Like, this is going to be different. It'll be a whole new thing. Because like, I'm so used to weed now. I'm like, um. It's become boring. Yeah. So it's just like done with this. I've played with this now. Like, what what other things there is to do? You know, let's let's give sober a try. <laughs> <laughs> what is this sobriety you speak of, Jared? Yeah. I've never heard of it. I don't is know, it, is man. This a drug or something? I just I just hear it's just the default thing people are doing these days. Oh, I, yeah? I don't know. I've never heard of. I just someone told. Me, Have you ever tried the sober shit? Like, you got to be nah. careful with that stuff, man. Yeah, I yeah. heard. I heard like, some make things. Make sure do your yeah. research. Uh, prepare yourself. Yeah, I've heard that too. I'm pretty, it can be pretty, pretty nervous. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just be safe, man. All right. I don't want you to fall yeah. off the deep end or anything. So you know. Gonna, I've seen a few mates as they've been pretty sober, been pretty straight, and I'm pretty like, fuck, how do they do it, man? <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna be different. It's gonna yes. be really. Um, it changes people, man. It does, yeah. That's a scary thing. Man. That is a scary thing. I want to try and maintain my um, my stone self <laughs> <laughs> exactly. as I go through this transition. But, you know, um, we're, we're joking around, but that's actually like the subconscious programming that plays. Like, you yeah, don't want to, because you get identified with being a stoner. Yeah, and you don't want to. But it's like your whole life is like revolved around that, and it can be yeah. scary to let that go. And I'm speaking from like experience, it's fucking hard to let nah, go of it. But, but it's also a beautiful challenge, right? Yeah, like, I'm really excited. You can go excited. back to weed, because like now I'm like I'm back on the weed, yeah. so to speak, but at the same time I've got a whole different relationship with it, because yeah. I know that I You've can back to it actually thing, yeah. quit whenever I want, and I've yeah. done it, right? And yeah, it just depends on how you use it, I guess. It would just be like, <laughs> It'll be funny to see, like, in a month's time or something, you just, you record me now, and I'm just like, yeah, Tom, yeah, it'll be cool. We'll be like, yeah, fucking hope, Tom, yeah, yeah, should have been it. It's like a month later, I haven't smoked weed in ages. Like, yeah, man, you have a fucking, let's go over there, we'll fucking, let's go climb a tree, fucking, well, let's go play a guitar, fuck, 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 fuck. Let's go for a swim, you want to go for a swim? Let's go, fuck, let's do it, let's do it, fuck, yeah, come. What are we talking about? Let's do it, fuck, yeah, come. 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 Let's
fuck yeah. <laughs> He's like, we've lost him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, kids, don't try sobriety. Yeah, yeah, don't try <laughs> sobriety. Yeah. You can, uh, you'll lose yourself. You'll go insane. <laughs> you'll... But basically, being stoned is like the Australian uh, sobriety, right? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Like, I don't drink, like, unless it's like an occasion yeah. or like something going on or like someone's birthday or just like having a, I'll like have a beer or something. But like, I like, if I have like three beers or four beers, I like get pissed straight away. Like I'm a lightweight because I don't drink it. Yeah. But I can smoke weed on live the whole live long day. So I want to get to that oh, same yeah. thing. Yeah. So even if I have like a one full glass of wine, I'm like yeah, tipsy wine gets as you. Well. Hey, yeah. gotta cool those tannins. Yeah. Let those tannins. But it's funny because like settle. my 13 year old self could have handled much more alcohol than I can. Yeah. Handle. Same. It's crazy. Same. Because that was the first thing you go into. Is yeah. alcohol? Oh, like, for me it was go. weed actually. But yeah, really. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. We didn't come around until I was like, I first tried it when I was seven, sixteen, seventeen. I was pretty. Oh shit! But like, I started when I was twelve, bro. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. for real. Fuck, that would have so, been. That and been maybe why? That's what I always have a theory of. Like, it depends on which age you start to. Yeah. I think that weed, uh, really negatively impacted my life like in a really bad way and I know people laugh like oh it's this weed addiction it's like yeah try smoking weed when you're 12 yeah daily yeah and then come back to me and say that that's weed addiction very exist. different because you're tra- very, transitioning from a like a child to, like a, to, a, to a teenager right? yeah man when so like my brain was still very like uh, malleable yeah you know what I mean and yeah. it's very influential so when most weed's people, a part of my nervous system now that's forever. it yeah <laughs> So like when most people smoke, they start from their, their late teens till their adulthood. Yeah. Like, that's how I smoked anyway. I, like, I started properly smoking when I was, like, about 19. Yeah. Into, yeah. Uh, into now, and I'm 24. Cool. And, um, and you're doing what you love for a living, so it's Yeah. Like, it's, it makes it easier, yeah. It's like now, like, I can smoke weed, and I can do... I can document go on adventure, about it. Document, photography. So, what's this, Jared? Oh, this is the Wunny. So what we're doing here is we're, uh, we've got the old uh, Wunny coming out here, and we fucking do this. <laughs> it's yeah, like, exactly. you're able to do that and just chuck it up as a video. Like, yeah, exactly. That's funny ass. It's like, so many people are fucking... They smoke weed these days, or at least um, tried it. It's just like the most um, social kind of drug. Well, it's not even a it drug anymore. And, and, I don't, I don't yeah. like calling it a drug. And it depends on what, uh, how your personality is as well. Because for myself, when I was young, I was really socially anxious and like extremely oh, same. shy. Fuck yeah. So Fuck weed no. would make that, would amplify that aspect of myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I thought of it as a negative thing, but really the weed was just putting my insecurities up to the surface and it's yeah. like, deal with this cunt. Yeah. But my brain was like, nah, <laughs> <laughs> this is, nah, I don't want it. It's <laughs> almost so like, I've like looked at it in a weird way, in a different way recently about how like, you know, when you're smoking and you're anxious about something, it just amplifies it. Yeah, yeah. I kind of almost use that as a tool to like, it's like working out with a like doing it jogging up a hill with a big waist yeah, weight man. vest. Yeah, yeah. So like you go, all like right, Dragon Ball Z, how yeah. to use the the, 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 the gravity yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I was like anxious about doing the tour for the show. I was like, oh fuck, I haven't like um talked to fans in person in so long. Like it's gonna be weird. Like like I, I'm gonna have to shake fucking heaps of hands and, and meet people like what's that going to be like and I like get in my head sometimes and go yeah. oh shit like you get nervous about like just doing anything like like that just anyway but like it always ends out sweet and you know it does but of there's course. always that yeah, build that, up that, yeah that it's, it's just that it's lead up to, to it be, I know man because the thing about like anxiety like anxiety and, and excitement is actually like fi- in the body physiologically. Yeah, it's the, it's the same, same thing. Yeah, your brain just interprets it. Your differently. brain just going, "Am I anxious about yeah. this, or am I excited yeah. about this?" I'll oh, have yeah. another coffee. Oh, oh. And then you get more oh. anxious, <laughs> more up in your head. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like when when you have that anxiety before you're doing something super like exciting. Yeah, it usually melts away as soon as you start. Yeah, and it transforms into like this amazing. Just becomes like, reality. You just in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened when yeah. I did the shows. Cause like before, before that, when I like, I would have a do with my coffee, and I'd just like think about all the things that would give me anxiety on purpose, yeah. and just think about it, and like almost like triple up on like how much that is, and then I'll just be like, like as as doing having a weight vest and just letting it all just kind of like um, be be like you know. I'm trying to like hold it up or something and trying to 
trying to work through it while yeah. wearing this metaphorical vest. Yeah, of course. And then when you do it, when you're like completely sober and stuff like that, you think about it and it's just like so... Much easier. It's so do. like yeah. lighter, just like when you take the yeah. vest off and you start running, you're like, oh, 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 it's fucking so easy. <laughs> exactly. It's, I, I kind of use it in that way fairly recently and, and it, I was pretty cool to do it yeah. like that. No, it, it is a good analogy actually, because it's like the same, same, you know, like weed uh, amplifies those that anxiety or yeah. it's like you're really shy or socially anxious it amplifies that but if you're able to Use smoke up tool. and really feel that fear yeah. and actually go out and socialize and be able to conquer that yeah imagine yeah like you said like imagine when you're sober was like oh this is easy yeah exactly right? yeah I'm not saying that that's recommended for everybody because that, yeah nah fuck that, if, yeah. if the fear is paralyzing then obviously yeah take <laughs> off the fucking vest yeah I just did it for <laughs> you, yeah. like, just to you see can't, what you can't like. just start off with the gravity machine otherwise it'll crush you right yeah yeah <laughs> that's it yeah <laughs> fucking oh dragon it, well, yeah man yeah. When I first started smoking weed, I used to smoke just leaf. <laughs> like I used to have a, I used to have a rolling machine, like you know the rolling machine yeah, of for cigarettes. Yeah. I had like just normal talios with with a cigarette filter, so I, like it just doesn't do anything. And like um, had crushed up um, dry leaf in there because I was like, if I smoke like normal butter, like full on, just fill my heart, my, my face will go white. I'll just be like, I can't. Yeah, I can't much. do this, yeah. this is hectic. So I started with, um, my <coughs> mate gave me heaps of leaf, so I like rounded that up and made like 10 or 20 little leafy joints and chucked them in my GoPro box. And um, so I just had, had them just there. And for like a week, every night, I'd I, like go out in front of my room, smoke a leafy, <laughs> and then I watch a Harry Potter movie because <laughs> uh, I haven't seen Harry Potter up until this point. I've seen oh, a couple, right. but not like in linear. Yeah. Like I wanted to wait till they're all out. Yeah, man. So Big like, shit. I, yeah, <laughs> I had them all on my hard drive. I went, all right, this week's the week. Every night after work, I'm gonna fucking smoke a grassy and fucking get stuck into Harry Potter. And I watched an episode, uh, uh, yeah, an episode, a movie, a movie yeah. every night. Nice. And smoked two grassies every night with it. And then like, it, that was really, that was a cool like lead into it. And then I started to get like a, like a stick off my mate and just putting a little bit of bud in with the leaf. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah, that yeah, was yeah. slowly kind of turn into just all green. And then like, well, yeah, man, well, that's how it started. Funny you say that because uh, most people don't do that. And weed is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and THC levels getting higher, higher. Yeah. You know, no pun intended. Yeah. Pun yeah. Intended. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then people like smoking weed for the very first time and it's like this super potent skunk. Yeah. You know, dank Premium shit. dank, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. They all got funny so, names. Yeah, like, right. Smoke something. What was purple it? Purple skunk. I had red dragon. It was like magnum, fucking <laughs> purple skunk, bubblegum kush. Like this is crazy. Train wreck. Train wreck. I've had that one a couple yeah. of times. White, White widow. widow. Yeah. 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 Hey. There we go. <laughs> fucking uh, Fucking yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, know. Know. we know the ones. Yeah, we, we know, know the ones. ones. Pretty educated. It's funny because I had I had it here once, <laughs> and I had it in Uruguay, but like the yeah. full legit legal. Yeah, version. the proper shit. Uh, White widow. What else is there? Obviously, we can go on forever. Gorilla but, panic. Yeah. Uh, they're coming. <laughs> they're coming. And <laughs> something that's called this is permanent. <laughs> yeah. You're not coming back from this one, mate. <laughs> You've seen yeah. Ted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like all these weed strains they're talking about. <laughs> Gorilla panic. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Uh, you want a wani? Yeah, give us a wani, man. Sweet. What's up, guys? I just wanted to give you a bit of a sneak peek on one of the upcoming documentaries I'm working on 
at the moment. And I'm not going to lie, there's a long, long, long way to go. And I'm actually juggling a fair few projects. Like, it's, it's been friggin' insane. And I will be releasing another documentary before this one, which I filmed in Chile, which I'm super excited for and grateful for to even have this opportunity. You know what I mean? I just wanted to show you guys, I guess, what your money's going towards and what's been going on the last couple months. So please be patient. Like I said, it's going to take a long time because it's still a one-man show. Uh, but of course, if you guys want to help contribute and fund these documentaries, then feel free to go on Patreon. We have a milestone right now that will allow us to kind of lower the workload and help hire other people and cover traveling expenses, upgrade equipment, yada, 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 yada. So if you resonate with what I'm doing, then of course, feel free. And of course, if you can't afford it, it's all good. A like, share, and a comment is always appreciated. But anyways, enjoy this sneak peek. And please keep in mind that this is a very tiny slither of the whole documentary. So there's a lot to work on for sure. Yeah, but I'm really curious to see your guys' thoughts. So Feel free to comment below, but anyways, enjoy. Much love, guys. Peace. What's up? Why is he Pepe? Who's Pepe? Because... Oh, Pepe, of course! Pepe. Ding! You want behind the Pepe? Ah, uh, uh, of course. I have Power Plant. What's the other one? Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Yeah, and today we're gonna get Magnum. A hybrid of Himalayan Kush and Brazilian Sativa. It's giggly and upbeat. It's good for... Ah, nice. Oppression and stress. I'm already sort of feeling a bit giggly and upbeat. You'll see! Yeah. And a bit. Do you yeah. want this room or that room to go? <laughs> 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 I don't even smoke yet. 